Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, unbalanced panel data. So what is the meaning of unbalanced? Okay, let's change the color first here. Uh, unbalanced. So as you know, like panel data, for example, if we want to put like the stock price here, okay, of some panel data that it's connected with E and T. E here is like stand for the company and then t it stand for uh t stand for the sorry the time okay so if for example we want to see the stock price of the company it's uh the, some code from um, uh, some some formula or some model here is like stock price some constant b0 and then it's like beta one for example, here uh, we can say like investment on this company with E and T plus some um, error. Okay. Uh, unbalanced means like uh, here E, it's always attached to the company itself. Okay, let's use another color. And T, it's always connected with time. And we're talking about like big amount of data. So for example, uh, there is a the model is like this and we take like here this the, um, the, the company or company name. Let's say it's like A. And then we want to like there is A, B. Okay. And then the other one gonna be like second there is b b and continue again and there is c c c what does balance mean balance means is like when you have company and you have time here you want to have like every single time it's attached to the company for example this is 2000 2001 2002 and then it's like repeated again 2000 2001 2002 uh, it has to be attached here here and here okay it's here 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 and then see also 2000 2001 and this is 2002 but what's happened is like if some of research they have for example B they also have a data for example here is let's say color here's they write like 2003 and then it's turned out for example c is like missing the amount here or a is not complete and some of them like for example data in 2002 is gone because we know like some research not every single entity they are following the time duration so what's gonna happen like here is like then the the one of the OLS thing is like we don't want some data it's not complete bias okay because if you just taking like here it's like two sample and here it's like three sample or even four and this is only two so the the uh, the base of your model then become not complete and this is what we call it as unbalance. So how to deal with unbalance, either it's possible or not to calculate it uh, in some panel data regression and so on. Uh, it's possible uh, with several treatment as long as we can put like all, we can fulfill all the requirement that the data will not be biased. And also like there is no error such as endogeneity and others. Uh, and how to do that so we'll see on the video how to do that and yeah let's take a look how to deal with unbalanced panel data okay meet with me again in the Alfred institution now we try to uh, do it in Stata so first what we need to do is we like we gonna drop all of the files so we get like everything's clear and then we need to get the data that it's has in the gaps we are taking it from uh, my uh, website here which is from download uh, connectingfreelancers.com download 
and then ground field gaps this data from IT Muse from Christopher Baum uh, so I copy the address and then I come back to Stata and then I will use the command insert using the file HTTP so you can all guys also can use it no worries and then I will write like it's divided by comma and then clear start from beginning okay so something that doesn't work it's like uh -huh. so I tried I forgot to put the comma in, in the middle so insert using this file and then comma clear so we get the data if you click on data browser you see like how the data look like and this is actually having gaps there is 190 observations with a couple of gap on it how to know that there is a gap first what you need to do uh, if you haven't installed the uh, the feature from Nicholas Cox connected with uh, TS spell this is like how to manipulate your missing data in Stata please install it how to do that you like you just say like ssj install uh, tss spell like this so they will check whether you already have for me i already have so i don't need to install it one more time so first like we need to set uh what is the first uh, dependent variable here is like we have or maybe like let's see what we have here so we have company year investment and value cash stock and time so i will write like x t uh sorry s uh ts or x t set it also can be like that and then company and then year as the <coughs> time variable so we got this and there is like information that they are like this year from 1935 to 1944 and there is gaps okay so how to know that there is gap we type the command xts and as you could see the frequency of the company like five company they have pattern all complete with 20 data observations there is one company that they have like two missing gaps company that missing two gaps in the middle some one company missing gaps three in the middle one company missing in the one middle and two in the in the last one so for example you want to exclude all the data that doesn't have complete uh, like for example all these four if you want to exclude from your res uh, research how to do that okay so first what you need to do is like you will use this the SS spell command and then how the command look like we're gonna do it together so it's like the ss spell and then sorry, spell and then the year itself okay and then the condition that you want to mention the ss spell always connected with uh if there is one missing so they connect they will always write like the condition of the year it's one okay so as you could see data contains gap place c on the spell and then you want to exclude them so make one like generate one uh, column which name it ns spell and then put like max here like the amount of spell that we know and then divided by the company okay enter and then drop if they have some gap in the middle by the word using and spell and then type one for example okay there are like 54 observation related it means like there are four company with their time series that we delete so if you try to see like describe how it looks like there is a company and if you want to see how now it looks like you see like all the all the observation that they having gap for example more than one uh like sorry more than two because one is actually delta year that it's missing so it's uh sorry one it means like there is two years missing on the observation and then uh more than two observation it will be excluded and it will be gone as you could see the previous one how many we have like we have five one 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 so there is like 
uh, around f five company that having uh, missing in the middle as you could see and now uh, the company that have uh, like missing in the middle we exclude them or like the one that more than have two uh, observation missing we exclude them and this is how it looks like so uh, the question is now is like we don't want to exclude them but we want to for example uh, just specify how many that we actually want to exclude so for example like you have a uh, uh, like couple of observation the company that you want to exclude if they are more than for example three or more than four or five so how to do that okay so the first thing that we need to do is like we drop all of them again okay and then we use the one more time the data and set using and then like just take it from here and then divide by comma and clear so one more time we start from zero and then after that we try to find like the, how the data look like so we try to take from Okay, we try to xts one more time. Okay, because we have to set up first the variable. So xts company and then here. Okay, so we got the data and we use like ts spell uh, here. We get the condition if there are like missing one. So we name it S1, okay, and then replace spell because if there is no any like uh, how to call it missing, they will write it as a zero. But if there is, they write it as a one, and then we put like the variable spell that usually they are zero with the amount of uh, missing. So if the spell is like zero, we will replace them. This is the command. Oh, okay. One thing, replace spell. So this is like f underscore spell if spell is equal with zero. Okay, so there are 14 chains made. So we now make one new variable named max spell. And this is like the combination from max and then the sequence which is in default actually zero so we make it into plus one and then we put it based on the company okay and we gonna drop if the for example max spell is less then four for example okay one more okay so what if drop if max spell is less than five so for observation deleted and if we see how it looks like now so there are like a couple of variable here like uh, we want to see like if there are like some variable as you could see there is like one variable here in the middle like gone less than five we're gonna drop them this is three this is one and so on so the amount of uh, actually uh, variable that did we drop there is like uh, four uh, that we drop because they are like missing variable there and you could also customize with what you need uh, if you see this is helpful Please consider to subscribe. I will also like put a couple of example if you want to make some uh, manipulation toward your data panel. Okay, thank you. Hope it's useful. See you in another video. Hey, my name is Dimas. I'm from notafraid.id Institute. Uh, I'm a final year PhD student in Krakow University of Economic in Poland. I have uh, published a couple of uh, articles. At the same time, I also like a senior manager in one of the largest P2P 
uh, platform startup in the world and within the course we will learn a lot of things connected with econometrics because i understand that studying econometrics can be very challenging because we try to find what the theory and how it applies in the real world and not everything in the theory actually have the application in the real world that's why during the course we will try to find what can be so we will go through all the checklists that we have in the stata course and then after that we will see how it will be implemented in the code and perhaps we will find uh, everything in the applicable way so if you think uh, everything it's gonna be uh, useful for you please also consider to subscribe this uh, channel and also see you in the next course and if you have a couple of questions feel free to ask in the comment section okay so see you in the next course and happy learning bye bye